this 16 foot deck over trailer I built in the shop there. I have a few other trailers but they're all either real big or have fenders on the side and everything's a real pain in the butt to load with forks or take off or doesn't fit between the fenders so figured this would be a perfect project to have on hand and uh, turned into a nice towing trailer. I'll give you a little more information on it. It's got uh, 235,000 pound axles on it from uh, off my fifth wheel and uh, the main frame is 2 by 8 and a half rectangular tubing. As you can see in this picture here, I welded up the trailer frame on the floor of the shop. It's two by eight and a half rectangular. I like to chase the wires inside that tubing if I can, so I made sure to plasma out where it joins to the rear uh, tail piece there for the bumper. Uh, I can be able to run the wires for the lights and etc. all the way from the front to the back. So once I had the trailer frame all welded up and squared off, I put it up on top of jack stands to figure out where I wanted to align the axles, position them and align them. I find the key to good towing trailer is to make sure it's square to start with when you're doing the frame. Uh, number two, you want the axles to have everything laid out, measure a couple of times, make sure it's laid out proper and have the axles so they're parallel with the tongue hitch there and you also want to make sure you have enough tongue weight but not too much. One thing I like to do when I'm working with big box tubing or rectangular is tack a piece of scrap on for the ground. You always have a real good connection. And the other tip I can say is uh, these little strong arm clamps that are worth their weight in gold. You never have enough. So here you can see I've got the axles mounts all welded in and the axles put on it. Uh, plasma out the tail light holes on the back, cut in for receivers. So I put them on everything now and started putting on stake pockets as well as the angle iron for supporting the boards. So you can see here how I'm fastening the decking down on the, all the angle iron. I also wanted a headache rack sort of set up on the front. Yeah, it's nice if you have something a little longer you can stick it out over the, the nose of the tongue there have something to support it onto and also have some protection for what you're hauling on the back there I also wanted to put a box on the front to be able to put a decent electric brake battery in there as well as spots to store straps and whatnot. and you can see how that turned out here Here's a better look at how I supported that box in there as well as braced that headache rack piece. I also needed to drop the tongue back down being a deck over the wheel trailer to be able to level it out. You can see how that was cut and reattached there. And my nifty safety chain holders as well as got the tongue glued on the hitch and the jack as well. Now here's a different view on how that was braced in there and my safety chain holders and how the jack and tongue was attached. Here you can see how I built out over top of the wheel wells there for the outside rub rail and stake pockets. Well, that was all done in there. And braced the angle iron in for doing the deck boards again. I'm not a big fan of using wood over top of the wheels and this checker plate just seems to be a good example of uh, something that will last for a while. I also like to block it all in and it gives it a heck of a lot of stability. Right, here's that checker plate at a different angle. As you can see here I've got the spare tire mounted and you can see how I tied the rub rail and stake pockets in with that C-channel onto the main frame. Here's more or less a finished project of the, the welding portion. You can see how I braced it in to the back there on a 45 as well as braced that angle down the center there to keep it from twisting with the load in the center. And spare tire mount you can see through with the box off on the front there as well. The one problem I did run into is I had to recess a little bit of a relief into that C-channel there 
for the tires uh, make it easier to take it on and off there if I got to change them on the side of the road and a better picture of uh, how I mounted that spare tire on there as well as the support underneath that aluminum box to keep the bottom from blowing out and took it outside and gave it two coats of uh, industrial enamel tractor and industrial paint uh, brushed the corners and rolled the rest of it and then I proceeded to raptor liner the front of uh, the trailer there everything gets hit with rocks and stones and it's kind of like my Frank's Red Hot Sauce and got all the masking off it and had the marker lights wired in once the paint dried for a few days proceeded to plane a bunch of uh, 2 by 8 and 2 by 10 fur down and you see how it's protruding up there I wanted it up above so if I do put anything down there or stab it with the forks I'm not going to hit the steel and the trailer turned out great and toes nice no matter what kind of combination you have whether it's the third in the unit or right behind the truck it just seems to be working out great if you want to see more videos like this one please like and subscribe and I'll try to keep some content coming